All right, hello. Welcome to another week. Uh, we've got the latest bullshit to talk about this week. First off, we've got should Trump's people be allowed to eat in restaurants in peace? <laughs> Especially ethnic restaurants that are particular yeah. ethnicities there. If, like a Mexican restaurant, are Mexicans allowed to kick them out? I think so. Yeah. yeah. But, okay, so um, this has been happening. It first started with Kirsten yeah, Nielsen, Secretary of Homeland Security um, under Trump. So she was at a Mexican restaurant. Also Stephen Miller, don't forget that. People keep forgetting that. Well, no, I'm saying it started with her. They were t- there together. Oh, really? Yeah. People, people don't mention that. That's the most important part. Hmm. I didn't even know and that. Stephen but... Miller orchestrated this whole... He came up with the whole separation shit. Yeah, well, like, and he's been, like, pushing it. Yeah, and... but he's always behind somebody. So he never gets the fucking backlash. And he should. He's a despicable human being. He looks like a villain. Like, the big-ass forehead. <laughs> yeah. Shit. So, um... This got conservatives really uptight. And pretty mad saying, you know, you shouldn't take politics into personal... You're saying it's infringing on your human rights, which is pretty fucking ironic, and I think they, they know that, but their base believes that shit. So, well, Kirsten Nielsen and Stephen Miller, he got a Mexican restaurant, and Sarah Sanders, who is, like, uh, she was kicked out of a fucking um, restaurant called The Red Hen. Yeah, and she. That's just like a burger joint, isn't it? Yeah, and she got, she, uh, she got Secret Service protection out of this shit. Because Loki, nobody ever fucking hit her or anything. They just the owner told her that she needs to leave. Like that's not even that bad. She's like, yo, you need to go, and she left, and now she has Secret Service. Because apparently people have been. Oh, so she didn't even get harassed. She just yeah. asked for her secret yeah. service because people, because basically Kirsten Nelson yeah. didn't know it, got harassed. Also, because of Maxine Waters. Maxine Waters said people should harass them. And people got kind of mad at her for that. Because they're saying you fought for civil rights. So why are you taking them away from our people? But, like... Yeah, she didn't she, she did say violence should be used. She said heckling and shaming, but still, you know how Trump people are. Like, if we do this, they're gonna go even harder and justify it with this shit. Like, well, I'm just thinking Civil War Three could break out, and that would be some crazy shit. So, I don't know. It's just kind of crazy. Oh, I guess she, yeah, Sarah Huckabee Sanders did get kicked out of uh... the Red Hand. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, but she kicked out makes it seems like she was thrown out. She was politely asked to leave. That's the injustice. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> again, like the irony, like, of that Supreme Court case that just was upheld with the yeah. Christian Baker could. But even then, that was on a technicality. They said the, the case wasn't handled properly in the lower court. So it wasn't necessarily. But I mean, I feel like the way conservatives took it, though, is like yeah. a win for. Yeah. Democrats would have done that too, low key. Yeah, but I mean, I'm saying like they're saying you have the freedom to kick someone out based on religious beliefs. So like, why wouldn't you have the freedom to kick someone or like not serve someone, not necessarily kick them out, but like yeah, not so, serve them based on your political yeah. beliefs? Like, and that's basically the arg- the argument that Democrats are saying now. But you gotta remember, some Republicans are crazy enough to drive through a fucking crowd. Like you, you gotta chill. Because these people have guns. How many Democrats have fucking guns? Probably like uh, uh, like 20% or some shit. That's just been pulled out of our eyes. But this, I don't think there's half as many Democrats that have guns as Republicans. If a civil war starts, we're all fucking dead. And they'll just kill black people because they'll assume, they'll assume fuck it. They're all Democrats anyway. With a white person, you have to check. But with us, like... Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, that going to the civil war slash race war might be a little bit extreme <laughs> no people been saying that Trump can take it there he can take it there if he really wants to he can take it there and the NRA wants that shit to go there 
they goading the thing because they sell more guns. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't think this is the escalation or like the beginning of that. I think it's just gonna if blow it, over because it's if like if it gets shut down, we'll people ignore it. Yeah, but Trump isn't gonna let it blow over. So I could be Sunders. Has got fucking see has got fucking secret service. She knows she don't need that shit. Yeah. Like nobody will go to jail for killing her. She's not fucking worth it. Like why? Because of her? Her. Yeah, but I mean it's just harassment at this point. It's not like death threats. Yeah. I mean But she's making it seem like it's death threats. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so it's Chuck Schumer, Republic or Democrat, uh, Senator, Majority Leader, right? He called out saying you shouldn't harass people. It's like not the level or discourse, political discourse shouldn't get to the level of it's harassing people. It's already fucking but, there. Like, well, yeah, I mean, I think it's more like I don't know. It's if you're trying to just be really proper and whatnot, that's the right yeah, thing to it do. It depends but on how you look at it. Cause I feel like on the other hand, he's just looking out for himself too, because he doesn't want Republicans to start harassing him. It's <laughs> fuck, honestly, so. fuck all that shit. Um, let's let's talk about it on on the sense of how the regular black person will see it. And I'm gonna become I'm gonna sound like a whole type nigga. I'm not trying to. I'm just gonna justify this shit. So every day, you see some bullshit about some random white person calling the police or the black person just doing normal shit and now it was the eight year old and then the, the cop the cop, cop that was on the job for two months just killed some 15 year old black kid and all this shit that's happening and basically white people being allowed to be openly racist and then we have to be like yo we can't heckle them we can't shame them because it's not polite that's a fucking insult to those people not necessarily to you but to those people they're like yo what the fuck is this bullshit Maxine Waters is right and she's Maxine Waters is thinking low key like the whole type nigga and but I mean that's, that's I don't know I don't it's more like so Maxine isn't gonna be polite fuck that cause they're not being polite in her eyes yeah 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 I guess okay if we're looking at it in the Maxine Waters context I guess that, yeah that makes sense cause I was thinking more just like the yeah, Chuck shouldn't Schumer, be able to eat at a Mexican restaurant angle, but not even saying. that angle like what the fuck you were kicking people from like my people out and fucking separating kids and shit you created this shit and you want me to serve you food if you don't want to get poisoned get the fuck out yeah like yo that's that's even a polite way to go about it if they were some malicious ass people like you yeah they would go to jail but they would go to jail having killed fucking Stephen Miller Loki is one of the worst human beings. Like, you think my Stephen Miller hate is irrational? He's a fucking. No, I don't, person. man. He is, he is a villain for sure. People should pay more attention to him. Like, but anyway, shit. But, like, so what was the. Maxine Waters said, oh, yeah, they. That we should keep doing that shit yeah, to them. Because, like, it's absurd what they're doing, yeah. basically. And. The li- least they could do is basically get heckled for yeah. like the crazy yeah. shit. That she wasn't was saying do violent shit, which she clarified. But, but then Republicans were turning it back on her, saying, "You, yo, you want people to start attacking us? You wanted to become World War Three with yeah. civil war, with civil war." So yeah, just the equating it to that mm-hmm. is the and major then deflecting, leap there. deflecting from the kid shit. Yeah. yeah, and talking about the kid shit, the latest on the whole. Well, yeah, we talked about it last week, and um, so much backlash, and there's still more protest planned, and Trump tried to hold down his his fucking rule or whatever, his policy. Policy, because that yeah. shit isn't a law, it isn't, it's based on the Bible, which it really isn't, too. This fucking, yo, this shit But after stupid. enough pressure, he wrote his executive order, he's gonna, like... Fix it, like, yeah. he didn't stop this shit. Yeah. But well, there's still either. no plan to reunite the families yeah. that had already been separated. Yeah. So that's from my understanding, and I'll just read this here, what the judge did. This is a federal judge in uh, San Diego. Um, 
order to do it, like, I think on the 7. Okay, so, yeah, uh, a federal judge in San Diego ruled that immigration officials have 30 days to reunite all children under 5 years old with their parents. And so that's just children under 5 years old, which, that's kind of crazy, but, um... I feel like this is just a weird time, because, like, just... Uh, the Supreme Court cases, which we're not really going to talk about, but, like, it recently there was uh, some Supreme Court cases that basically rejected the lower court's um, rulings. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, so there was just the travel ban that uh, was three federal judges struck it down somewhere or another, and then it went to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court upheld it. And I, not really to get into that, but I'm just saying, like, you have that where, like, Trump has been calling federal judges, like, activist judges, and, like, you shouldn't let these judges, you know, yeah, overthrow democracy. I mean, I don't, and I'm not even trying to get into that argument, but I'm just saying, like, that's the perspective that, like, we have going into this. So it's like, I feel like Trump is going to feel really confident, and plus, also, big Supreme Court news, Justice Kennedy announced he's going to retire, yeah. and Trump is already he talking about how he's... <laughs> Got yeah, his, his list that he's going this through. Dude so. Two fucking chances to put people on. Yo, that's not <sighs> even fair. That's some bullshit. Like Democrats let that shit happen the first time too. Some bullshit. Like, yeah. Why didn't they fight harder? I like, know they like they tried to fight, but that was some pushy shit. He gave in. Yeah. They, they so Trump is probably feeling time. really confident and not so yeah. worried about federal judge rulings because I feel like he's just going to know that he's got the Supreme Court in his pocket but yeah. Um, but yeah and I just feel like it's going to just add to that like Republican distrust of federal judges which there's also a lot of super conservative federal judges so it's like it definitely goes both ways but anyway um, yeah so you know, and this is just a federal judge ruling that, so how this is actually going to play out is pretty unclear at this point, and even what is going to come next, but that's the latest on that, I don't know, I guess what is your, do you have anything? You wanna... no, it's just a fucked up situation yeah yeah, and also they, they started ordering, I think in Texas a bunch of toddler, no, I think 5 year olds to go unaccompanied to court to basically go plead their fucking yeah and that's all not it without a lawyer or anything not with a lawyer but also oh, it's but just still a kid they don't know yeah, what the fuck yeah. is going on and they'll ask them questions and expect them to answer like yo did you illegally cross the fucking border yeah like, didn't John Oliver have a thing yeah, on he this did. yeah but now they're yeah. well, so that's the next thing those kids are gonna get straight up deported or funneled into like foster care and adopted out which Loki weirdly still benefits by people who can't have kids so yeah. yeah it's just a mess and there's more protests coming apparently there's one tomorrow again mm. I don't know if I'll, you want to go to another one anyway show's over yep peace yeah.